all right hey guys welcome to my channel welcome back to my channel so today i just want to talk to you guys about kind of what i've been seeing or kind of what has been brought to my attention if you do not follow i am eloho um i believe i'm saying her name right um on instagram or if you have not listened to her youtube i will put it down below um and it's pretty much modern day blackface um white influencers or whatever non-black influencers using modern day um blackface and it's something that i had kind of seen before but never really put two and two together never really paid too too much attention i would think i was just blind to it and here's the thing that kind of just rubs me the wrong way my issue is not with oh the white girl is wearing braids oh she's wearing faux locks or whatever i don't care about that i clearly this did not grow out of my scalp my hair is 4b 4c hair it is not this loose curl whatever the whatever i'm wearing um so i don't really care about that kind of stuff my issue that i have is being able to change your skin color um whenever it is convenient for you or it will profit you somehow now here's the issue i am a black woman i am on social media well i'm on instagram mainly and of course i have youtube here's the thing i have watched people that i've been on the same level with or started i guess i should say started youtube with and they have you know done whatever they have reached super super high numbers and sometimes i do feel like i'm struggling and that has gotten me down tons of times because honestly youtube is a, is it's it's very hard for brown girls um to make it to get noticed all that kind of stuff and that's when you have to just tap into it and do it for because i just like to and that's really what it comes down to i just like to help people i just like to share my experiences i just like hair and makeup and life and all that kind of stuff so however my thing is with people who do um white influencers that are trying to make themselves i don't necessarily know if i agree with making like using modern day black blackfish <laughs> modern day blackface um i think that pertains to some of them not all but i definitely feel like they are making themselves be more mixed race more than anything so being able to say i am half this or half with some kind of blackness in there i'm not able to change my skin color in any kind of way i'm a black woman 24 7 365 and i have my ups and downs it's hard enough sometimes um it's a lot that comes with it and for someone to be able to make it make themselves or tan a little bit more or inject themselves with melanin shots or whatever you want to call these shots that make their skin darker um to profit off of that's when i have an issue being black is trending being a black woman is trendy we come up with a lot of things and i'm not afraid to say it i don't care about saying it and from there people get to pick and choose what they want to grab from the black community and make their own or call it different things i.e cornrows or boxer braids that kind of thing you know what i mean and so for a white influencer to be able to change their skin tone when it's convenient for them really irritates me here's another thing i've noticed i don't know too much about tanning except for i get darker during the summertime as well but i'm only gonna go so much like darker it's very rare <laughs> that i see someone who does tan or use self tanner or fake tanner whatever you want to call it not do their entire face notice that with a lot of youtube videos videos period i always see the girls matching a darker foundation to the rest of their body here's my thing with that you get to pick and choose when you want to be darker if i'm around grandma and grandpa or the rest of the family i'm gonna go ahead and go with my porcelain foundation however if i'm going to a more urbanized area or i know it's going to be a couple different people of different background ethnicities there maybe i'll go with the darker mocha sh mocha shade to match the rest of my body you see what i'm saying like you get to pick and choose when it's convenient for you and i just i hang it down with that 
And that kind of goes into my bigger issue is the companies that are supporting this because that's really what it is. So social media is all about getting noticed, uh, making it, you know, people make it their jobs now, live really great lives off of social media and Instagram, it's marketing. We get it. It's a marketing tool and these companies just like eat it up. So with all these companies that support that kind of like action that that know that these girls are doing this you know because they're looking for a certain type they're looking for a mixed race racial ambiguous type like why do we still support them and I think I'm starting to understand why a lot of people say to buy black because it's frustrating you know what I mean it's frustrating to give my dollars to a company that doesn't recognize me as a black woman because I have kinkier hair and this is my skin color, but I'm not, you know, I just look like a regular black woman versus someone who has the same, same skin tone as me. But maybe their hair is a lot looser and curl and she's a little bit lighter complected and her nose isn't as wide as mine. But they're kind of the same, but she's like a little bit better. That's what irritates me because she's no better than what I am. <sighs> Y'all, it's just frustrating. I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say. But that kind of leads me into why I kind of stopped buying, like, <laughs> hair products, to be completely honest with you guys. I stopped buying hair products. It's very rare that I will pick up anything. After I cut my hair... <sighs> So after I cut my hair at the beginning of the summer, I was just over it. I was just tired of buying all these products that are supposed to be for my 4B, 4C hair, but they really were not. You know what I mean? And that, that kind of goes with companies like natural hair companies. I stopped buying products because they kept making stuff for the looser texture girls and trying to put a claim on it that it works for everybody. Sis, no, it doesn't. It doesn't work for everybody. And then I got tired at one point of seeing these brand trips um, of just the same people over and over again. Or the, these companies only, you know, bring in one kinky headed girl on their trips. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. I know someone out there kind of saw the trend. Looser curls are still more desired than kinkier hair. It's kind of like 4C girls are trying to make their way. We're still struggling to get into the natural hair community that says they accept us, but they really do not. <laughs> I know it's hard to like, I just like switched over you guys from like one subject to a different subject but that's just kind of how my mind goes it's kind of like that's why i stopped messing with all these natural hair companies because at first it seemed like they were here for us and for everybody and then as you know everything like the natural hair movement kind of picked up i felt like they were just slapping collections together and throwing them out there and people would just bite for no reason and calling them this that and the other so i stopped that and i don't regret it at all and that's kind of how i feel with these other clothing companies, whatever, makeup companies that are really looking for these racially ambiguous girls that are pretending to be that. Why can't they just be themselves? Why am I going to keep supporting them? You know what I mean? Like, what's the point? I just want to also make other people aware of it and I want you if you're interested you know to listen to Elo Ho she dives a whole lot deeper and you probably follow her better than what I have explained but yeah you can definitely follow her a little bit better than what I'm talking about she definitely takes her time and breaks things down um way better than I did this was just my initial reaction as to why keep supporting these companies that support these people. Um, I don't know, you guys, there's just so much on my mind. I may come back with a part two or something. I just wanted to throw some stuff out there and really, you know, once you start hitting people in the pocket, like once you start taking their funds away and um, pulling that, that coin back, you really start to, because that's all it's really about. All it's really about is money, is money at this point because that's all social media is. So it's just, that's all Instagram is, YouTube. It's just, you know, Instagram is definitely marketing. You know, how do I market myself to get the best this, that, and the other? And I mean, maybe we should really look into these companies and what they are really standing for. Like, if they don't support us, why do we support them? Anyways, that's it. I'm about to hop in the shower. We're leaving tomorrow. 
that's all I got. <laughs> I hope I, this wasn't all over the place. If it was, then I'm sorry. I just, yeah, just had to get off my mind. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know your thoughts down below. Let's have a talk about it. Let's, let's talk about it. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.